Hey guys, it's me, Adriana. Welcome to my channel, Black Girl Writing, the channel where we are on the journey to becoming published. Today I have a special guest. I have my dog, Nala. She is going to be helping me um, with this video because today we're doing character sheets because I don't know who the hell my characters are. Um, okay, so I have decided I'm going to print out heart breathing character sheets. I have three main characters in this novel that I'm working on. And oh, you don't have to sit down. Say hi, Nala. Nala says hi. Yeah. So anyway. Okay, you big fuck. Okay, there we go. You gotta sit back down. You gotta sit back down, baby. Yeah, almost. Lower the butt. Lower your booty. Sit. Sit. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Continue. I wanted to do a video filming the nine block 27 chapters and doing that outline and I've done it a couple times in my notebook like already like in this notebook but I really still don't know my characters like I honestly don't know who the hell these people are so that's what we're going to be doing in this video today so we're going to be discovering who our main protagonists are and um yeah so get your coffee get your dog mine's just fell get your notebooks Get a printer and we're gonna get started. Also, if you see me sneezing, it's because I'm allergic to dogs and I have no boundaries for myself. We got our handy dandy computer. Finally, I didn't want you in this video with me anyway. Oh, printer's already printing. Okay, let's do this. The beast of it are so I just downloaded the heart breathings document. So we're gonna download three of the characters in a journey. And I think that will help me figure out who my three main protagonists are. Okay, so we have our sheets. Um, they didn't print out like I thought they would. And I thought they were gonna have like more lines and like kind of go more into detail, but I kind of like how like there's two lines. I feel like it's very simple. I feel like you write two or three sentences of what like this character is really about. I feel like to concise it, at least for my brain, that's what I think. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put what really matters on the sheet before I just start filling in a lot of stuff. Like for the extra notes at the bottom, I feel like I can make that, you know, anything that I want, like adding the extra details, but the main things that our characters need or that are the foundation of our characters is right here. So let's get started. inspirations right here in my notebook so uh, okay. I took a Walter Mosley's Masterclass Fiction of Storytelling Fiction and Storytelling. No, if you don't stop chewing on this chair, we're gonna have a problem. Anyway, I took his Masterclass and he was like, start off very simple. It's gonna get complicated. I'm like, cool, I can do that. I'm gonna make a dash on the this one for Zuri. What do they truly need, even if they don't realize it? Because I don't really know what he needs just yet. I kind of know his personality, in a sense. But um, I don't know what he necessarily needs right now. So I'm going to put a pin in that. Why is it so complicated? <laughs> Why are people so damn complicated? I don't, I don't know. What kind of question is, what do they truly need? Even if they don't realize it. I don't know. I don't even know what I truly need in life. Oh my god, this is like a therapy session. <laughs> What do they need and don't realize it? And then what's happened in their past trauma? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, oh my gosh. I think I just struck gold. This this was ingenious. Start off simple. So my character Zuri just wants a purpose. Why does he want a purpose? B 
because after hearing stories of his mom and how of, how great of a shimmer she was with her empathic ability, he wants to be just like her, right? Right? Because she dies. And I didn't know she was going to die, but I feel like that's going to be the kicker. And I feel like I know who's going to kill her, how she's going to die, and how that's going to affect his relationship with the two princesses. Oh yeah, I'm George R. R. Martin in this bitch. I love killing characters, but trying to find a good way to kill them because nobody's safe. Okay, my main, th my three main characters are safe, but they gonna go through some things. But, ooh, genius. Okay, now that I think about it, I think understanding human beings is a little bit more easier because I think everything is all based off of emotions, even pe people who. Sh show lack of emotions there's some type of freaking emotion or some type of want or need or not want or not need if that makes sense not need what anyway i feel like now that i'm understanding their emotions that drives who they are at least to me i feel like i go a lot off of emotions but i think if i can nail my character's emotions then that will help me weave the web to everything else because emotions dictate a lot like seriously like if you've met emotionally unstable people okay it's a lot it's a lot so if i understand their emotions that will play into their personality and your personality can contribute to your character right 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 okay let's 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 connect the dots here let's connect the dots Okay, you know how you have that one character that makes you do a lot of self-discovery? I think Mandiza is that character for me. I have a lot of... Well, right now, she doesn't have any desires. She has no deep desires. She's um, a princess who will never really be queen, and she's fine with that. She's a spoiled brat. She does what she wants. She's basically me. <laughs> um, but... Well, I've also... She, she does... She has... Um, hobbies likes like she's very she's much into alchemy because her father was into it as the king so she she kind of got that from him so she's very much into the sciences of things and not you know really cares about anything else um so yeah i'm gonna figure her out too i think she's gonna be my problem child because a lot of she doesn't have one she doesn't know I don't know, so. Hmm. Two more lines to fill out and then we'll be done. I have done it. I have filled out the sheets. Please say there was in the back. Oh God, thank God. I filled out the sheets. I didn't even check to see if there was in the back. I have filled them out. Very simple. Two, three sentences. A lot of scratched out stuff. Two, three sentences, a lot of scratched out stuff. But I'm gonna keep it simple now. These will just be the, the backbone of like who they are and then I'll just add on. So, um, that's gonna be the end of this video. I had no idea how long this was gonna take. It's, I don't, I'm filming on my phone so I don't know what time it is. I know I started, I think it took me like eh, two hours. It wasn't too long, but it wasn't no 30 minute excitement that I thought it was gonna be it literally took like two hours so yeah so it's gonna be in this video please comment rate and subscribe um I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will be back with another one real soon and tell me how you guys are going filling out your care your character's inner journey because I didn't know how this was gonna be a lot of self-reflection on myself trying to understand people and that was really all it is I had an aha moment I was like oh all I gotta do is just, what would I want? And just, you know, think of another person. Also, my dog's barking in the background, so I'm, I'm gonna go.